The swipe is started in the seated position, bringing your right arm over your body into full push-up position, following left arm over the body again, back to seated position. Again, right arm. Right arm over body, push up position, left arm following through, back in the seated position. Step two is done just like step one in seated position. Bring right arm over body, this time fully rotate all the way around, following through with your left arm on the ground. Right all the way over, body continuing, left arm placed on the ground. Step three is also started in seated position. This time bring your right leg up to your body. Lift your body up. Bring your right arm over into push-up position with right leg still bent. Back down to first position. Right arm over. Right leg still bent. Left arm back down. First position. Step four, you're gonna practice raising your body into the air while in push-up position. Bring your right arm over into push-up position while you're placing all your weight onto your hands. Right arm over, push-up position, weight onto your hands. In step five, you're gonna raise your left leg into the air. Do steps one, two, and three while you revolve over your left leg. The quicker and tighter your swipe is, the better balance you will have. Double-legged swipes are done just like one-legged swipes, except bringing both legs up to your chest, lifting up your body so that it makes a table, and then revolving around your body by doing steps one, two, and three of the one-legged swipes. Again, both legs revolving around the body, landing at the same time. Step one, right leg under left leg, left leg under right leg, left hand down, right hand down, right leg back, left leg back. Right under, left under, left hand down, right hand down, right leg back, left leg back. Right under, left under, left hand down, right hand down, right, left. Now in step two, we'll be practicing the same motion as in step one with quicker, more fluent movement. Notice the key positions in the six steps. Right leg under left, and left leg bends, then right leg bends, then left leg sweeps under right. And then back to first position. Again, it's right leg under left, and left leg bends, then Right leg bends, then left leg sweeps under right. And then back to first position. Here we have it in slow motion. Right leg under left, right leg bends, left leg sweeps under right leg. When doing the six step, make sure you keep your body tight and centered. As your steps become quicker, your movements will become much more fluid.
step one of the up rock from standing position right leg out left arm up left leg out right arm up right leg out left arm up left leg out right arm up step two from standing position same as step one with a forward bounce forward bounce right leg forward bounce left leg remember to continue raising opposite arm as the leg you step with Step three, same as step one and two, the longer strides in your bounce, getting more comfortable with the movements. Second up block from standing position. You place your left leg over your right. Right leg over your left. And a slight twist to the body. Again, right over left, land left, right. Left over right, land right, left. standing position, right leg behind left knee, then left knee, down to the ground to six step position. Again, right leg behind left knee, then left knee, down into six step position. In step one with right arm extended, then fingers, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. Again, then fingers, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. You might want to say it in your head. Fingers, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. Again, fingers. Knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. Concentrate on each bend of the move. Again, fingers, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. Step two is the shoulder shrug, just like when you say, I don't know. Now just concentrate on lifting one shoulder at a time. Right, then left. Step three is the opposite of step one. So now you bend your elbow, wrist, knuckles, fingers. 
elbow, wrist, knuckles, fingers in an outwardly motion. Elbow, wrist, knuckles, fingers. Elbow, wrist, knuckles, fingers. In step four, you will connect steps one, two, and three all together. Again, you might want to repeat the moves as you do them. Fingers, knuckles, wrist, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckles, fingers. As you get more comfortable with the wave, it'll start looking more fluid-like, going through your body arm to arm. Step one of the second wave from standing position, raise right arm, the left arm, trace down right arm, through body, down leg, lift up left knee, down left knee, through body again, back up right arm. Again, down right arm, through body, down leg, up knee, down knee, through body, back up right arm. Step two, we practice what we learned in the first wave. Again, more fluid like in the right arm, all the way down the body. Through the right arm, all the way down, the leg, all the way through back. Again, tracing the wave all through your body. Step three, we work on getting very fluid going through your body, all the way up. A little bit quicker, also using the body as part of the wave. Step one, right foot forward, left foot back. Left foot forward, right foot back. Alternating them with a snapping motion at the very end of the movement. Same movement, concentrate at the very end of the motion, at the very end of the movement. A quick snap. Concentrate on 
on sliding motion and the shifting of weight from one leg to another. Moving your body in wave-like motions helps create the illusion of gliding. Step 1. You must find something to wear over your hand, like a towel or a knee pad. Place the knee pad over your hand, like so. Place your elbow right into your midsection of your stomach. Again, place your elbow right into the midsection of your stomach. Top of your elbow. In step two, you place your elbow into your midsection of your body and then lift up your legs, placing all the weight on top of your elbow and hand. Again, elbow into midsection, raise legs, weight onto your wrist and hand. This is also a great exercise for conditioning your wrist, getting used to the full body weight on top of your hand. In step 3, you will be doing steps 1 and 2, but now practicing the sweeping motion that creates the movement for the hand spin. Again, steps one and two with a sweeping motion for the hand spin. Step 1 started in seated squatted position, raise right arm overhead followed by your left. Again, right arm overhead followed by left, looking at left hand. Right arm, left, looking at left hand. In step 2 you'll be doing as in step 1, but this time throwing your leg over and doing a side cartwheel. Step one, leg over, side cartwheel. Again, step one, leg over, side cartwheel. In step three, you'll be doing the same as step two, but this time kicking your legs directly over your head. Again, keep your eyes looking at your left hand as you go over, keeps your body straight. One more time, step two, keep your eyes on your left hand, body over straight. Once started in seated position, roll back, place hands behind head. This is also how you will gain your momentum for the kip up. Notice the way the hands are positioned and the direction they're positioned.
In step two, you'll be doing just a step one, except this time kicking legs forward, up, and under. Landing on upper shoulder blades. Again, forward, up, and under. Step one, lay flat on your back with legs open in a V position. Now rotate legs around while rolling on upper middle section of your body. Make sure you keep your legs open because this will keep your motion going in the window. In step two, we'll be practicing the upper section of the windmill. Place left hand beside head to protect face and roll upon your right elbow. Step three, you want to put on some protective clothing like a jacket or sweatshirt to protect your shoulders and your body while practicing the window. In step four, you will be doing what is called a turntable. This is done first by placing right arm into the midsection of the body and stabilizing with the left arm. Keep leg straight, arm straight, tip shoulder down into the movement, and do step one. In step 5, you'll be doing steps 4, 2, and 1. After the first revolution of the windmill, place your elbow again into your lower stomach, like in step 2. This will allow clearance enough for your legs so that they can pass under you. Remember, keep your legs in V formation. The windmill is like doing continuous turntables. And there you have it, Volume 1 of How to Break Dance. For those of you that have mastered the movements, congratulations. But remember, practice makes perfect. So no matter what you do or what you learn, practice, practice, and practice. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you on Volume 2.
Breaker. 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 Breaker.